Time now to go live to Boulder. That's where we find Ariel or pseudo Ariel. This was not a pretty game for CSU. No, Jacob, I think that's probably the understatement of the entire week. It was not a pretty game, nor was it the bounce back game we expected after they nearly took down a top five team last weekend. Instead, the team finished with 63 total yards and compare that to Minnesota's gashing 441 total yards. Carl Durrell said it's time to reevaluate everything on the offense, and that includes his own coaches and play calling. Offensively, we're struggling. We're struggling uh, in a number of areas. It's not just a quarterback, it's protection, it's run game, it's, it's receivers, it's backs, it's everything. So, you know, it's one of those things where we're going to have to wipe the, the, clean, the, the slate clean and start all over. You know, and I'm not blaming the players. Right now it's going to be us and the coaches. You know, we got to get this thing fixed. Uh, I, I've been through this scenario many times before in other places that I've coached, and we can overcome it. We can get back, but it's going to take a great deal of work. You gotta look yourself in the mirror as a man and just see you got out physical. Uh, come back uh, tomorrow with a better mindset and get ready to work again. Individually, everyone just has to grow up, handle business next week. A really quick side note, I am surrounded right now by crows only, no other people, so I think it's pretty ominous here. Uh, but the starting quarterback, Brennan Lewis, he has not had a spectacular game yet all season. 102 yards on 66% passing. That was his best game all year, and that was against FCS opponent Northern Colorado. Now, it's possible we'll see more of true freshman Drew Carter in the future. I'll have more on that coming up tonight at 9 and 10, Jacob. In the all right, Ariel, we'll see you at 10. Thanks.